we're back up again. I don't know what that was about. Hopefully I'm not getting it an echo. <laughs> Alright. Go. It's a little foggy. I must apologize for the odd noises I'm currently emitting. A consequence of being mechanical in nature. Ooh, it's a lot foggy actually. Let's try to wait and wait for the hours. It's a little bit too foggy for me. There we go. See if I can pull it on with this sound again. Oh, hi, Marky. Welcome back. Uh, let me know if it has an echo, because I've been trying to get the echo to go away, but of course, no matter what I do, it doesn't seem to want to work. <laughs> no. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, so, um, her Blue Lagoon bar was over here that I did for her, and then, so I was building the next part of the settlement, which was her gun shop, and I got, um, yes, okay, good, the echo's gone. Yeah, so I had started to work on her gun shop. Of course, it's not exactly... It's not an exact duplicate of her build, but it's very similar. Um, 
because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on in here. Got work to do. And usually when I would come Can't in here, now. the game would freeze up. And then once I got the Xbox X, um, it seemed to help it a little bit. But I still try to go slow through here, just in case. I built this weird gun thing. I don't even know. <laughs> this is another one of my weird things. One of my weird things that I have. Yeah, I do too. I really miss her. I can't believe it's been a year. Crop's been you know, growing pretty good. Or lately. almost a year since she since she passed. I just yeah. I do think about her a lot. So I've been the past year working on this on and off. And because it was freezing up so much, I just had to stop. I had to stop until I got my new Xbox X in January. And I got it as a birthday present from one of my friends. Bless his heart. I'm very grateful, thankful, and blessed uh, that I have such lovely friends. And so, obviously, this part isn't fully decorated yet. Still working on that. But I definitely want to decorate more because that's something that I really loved was when I decorated things. The hand junk decoration because she was always really impressed by what I did with it. this little shop. I just loved how it turned out. I put chairs up there that are for sale. And then all the comic books and whatnot. And then the vault girl here with her her hand around the flamingo's neck. I, did, I don't know why I did that. I thought, this is going to fit perfectly. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> if you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. So again, this one isn't fully decorated, but I had started on it, so I will eventually finish it. Had some stuff put Out back here, here as well. Take things one day at a time. The upstairs really isn't, I mean, I haven't really done much up there. Um, to do the next part, the upstairs, I usually have to clear out this part of everything and then start afresh upstairs that way it doesn't all um, you know start freezing up and get weird and wonky and all that and I did build this little thing over here I guess it's like an outhouse oh yeah I love it hi aviator welcome Yeah, I know. Di was always yelling at me about something, too. <laughs> Starfield, yeah. I'm, um... You know, I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, 
So my man, my manager at work was like, just do the game pass thing. That way, you know, you don't have to really commit to anything. You just can go in there and play it whenever you want. So I'll show you this little outhouse I made over here and it's pretty cute too. Um, I got my, <laughs> the pillar is still over here. Let me move the pillar out of the way. That does not look good right there. Get out of here, pillar. And of course we have Jezebel over here who is always to be reckoned with. Put a little dog over here. Or dog house and then a little doggy. He's going to guard you, I guess, if you, you know, want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I also left the stick there, too. I just did all kinds of stuff over here. I wasn't realizing what what all I did. Have you played Starfield, Mark, at all? I, I haven't uh, watched any gameplay or anything, so I don't really know anything about it. I'm kind of like in the dark about it. A little sitting spot right there, and I guess um, out this way you can maybe fish or something. I don't know. Um, and then I made the roof out of the, um, the fish, the fish, um, you know what I'm saying, those fish things from the Far Harbor thing. It's very scrappy. I think it's cute. It's not part of, I like, Di didn't build that in her settlement, but, um, Thought she might get a kick out of it. I put that there. The space combat is very hard on very hard difficulty. Yeah. Oh, I bet Annie's really good at it, too. You know, kids, it seems like they can just take to these games really, um, really well. And for someone older like me, I'm just like... It takes me a while to get there, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm slowly just climbing up the hill and... Uh, waiting for everyone to uh, wait on me here. What is going on with my Better robot over here? Me. He's like flying up in the air. How did you get up there, buddy? Well, come on down now, huh? In the flu plunk at heck did you get up there? Hang on. What is he doing? He's like in fight mode or something. You're not supposed to be in fight mode, dude. You're supposed to be... Like, what? I don't even know how he got up there. He's shut down. What's, what's doing, guys? So there was this robot shop I was building here. There's no lights or anything in here yet. Here's like a, I don't know, a new store thing. I, I glitched the pod into the storefront. I don't know why. It's something new I've never done before. It's weird. Hi, Quint. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Is the stream still doing okay? It didn't freeze or anything, did it? hope not. Oh gosh, don't tell me it froze again. No, it didn't. <laughs> Are you one having to check it? Okay. So yeah, I had just all these weird robots I took from that racetrack up there and I just threw them in here, so I'll do something with this at some point, but For right now, it is what it is, I reckon. Oh, 
Oh, and I recreated um, some boats over here. This is the insane Shekladors boat that he built a while back. This is one. This is one of his designs. And then this is like one of my designs, but not um, the exact original one I did. Although it's not. Um, it doesn't have a bottom to it, so that's the only thing. I need a bottom. Fight in reverse? How can you fight in reverse? Aliens of Dark Descent. Oh, I never heard of that before. Hi, Fallout Gaming Shelter. Welcome. So that's the other part of Dai's, um, um, build there that I was doing for her tribute and I'll just for those of you that didn't get to see um, you know her I didn't have this one fully decorated because when I after I do a video I take all the the hand de decorations down um, and I had a lot more like lights in here but um, and then I threw down some beds because they didn't have beds but and yeah, this is the bottom half of her bar. And she had the deck out back here, and I had it all, you know, decorated up with drinks and and stuff. Um, and I had done it up a little bit more fancier than she did because um, she doesn't like doing she didn't like doing a lot of like pillar work where you have to as well. I'm getting tired do the group wait. select with the pillar and stuff like that she um, yeah had all this decorated back here and a bunch of food on there and stuff So, um, <clears throat> I need to go back to Nuka World to get some more Nuka Cola. So I was playing Skyrim there for a while because I wanted to get the achievements all over again. So, uh, was, I was doing that for a while. And then I came back and started building the Fallout 4 again. pretty old. I think he got the, the leukemia somehow and then he passed so that was that was um, really sad. Just working hard like always. And then my truck broke down again so I had to have work done on that and needed a new starter. the end of August, um, the store that I worked for had sent me to Chicago for the weekend, 
and that was um, a good experience, but it was very uh, much of a frustrating experience, though, with the whole flight getting canceled, um, my boarding pass not scanning at security checkpoint, um, going up to the hotel people and them giving me crap about the hotel room. I mean, just one thing after another. I, even, even though I tried to stay as positive as I could, I really wanted to just curse everyone out, but um, I know that I had to be the that beacon of positivity and you know, I had to represent my company and not, you know, not um, go ape shit crazy on anyone. But um, it was a good experience. I mean, whenever they send me places to go help out other stores, I'll, I'm always willing to go. And um, the only thing was, is I didn't get to. Um, I didn't get to really, like, go and visit These any place. You know, it was just, like, go now. work, work. It was literally at the mall across the street from the um, hotel. And the airport was right up the street. So <clears throat> it was all very close. So the hotel, I would just wake up in the morning, literally walk across the street to the mall, go to the store that I work for, you know, work a 10 or 12 hour day, and then just walk back across the street to the hotel room. <laughs> And so, um, but I really liked that, you know, um, you get to meet new people, um, damn Nuka Cola song stuck in my head again. Be, um, get to travel a little bit, get out of town. I didn't get to go back home this year, I didn't get to. My sister started a new job, so we, she didn't have the vacation time to go. Um, so not being able to go home this year has been a little bit depressing. I miss my mom and dad and my grandma. My grandma's a hundred years old, you know, so it's it's really Did you come across um, any makes me feel bad that I'm not able to go and see her. As you know, when, when they get that old, they could knock on wood, they could go at any moment, and so, um, I would really like to go and see him. I suppose I could fly down and go see him for a little while, but, um, now we're getting into blackout period at work, you know, with the Black Friday and the holidays, so now I can't get the time off to even <laughs> fly down if I wanted to, but, hand at the gauntlet just um, to see if I could do it. <laughs> Waste of time now. No one's stopping your performance. Overbossed, taking trouble. And then in March, it was like the last, I guess, snowstorm before you know we started getting springtime weather. And I had been sent out to the Mall of America to our store out there, our sister store, to go out there to work. And it's about an hour drive from where we live in St. Michael. And um. It was an ice storm, and I was going slow on the highway. I was going only about 40. And my truck, you know, it's a little 2003 GMC Sonoma. So it's, like, comparable to, like, a Chevy S10. They don't make them anymore, but they're really cute trucks. I just hit a bad spot, boy, and I did three full 360 turns around, uh, across an entire four-lane highway. Supplies? Got and I landed in here. a ditch Come and hit a metal Things fence. Are as hell since and made I don't know. I don't no know how I didn't die. Because those people were going 90. What do you need to be um, Sure. I don't know how I Let's didn't take die a look. or get right hit away, or boss. something. But I had a concussion. I hit my head. and um, So, you know, I had to go through. Since I was traveling, so being as going from one job to another... It fell under the workman's comp, so I had to be a workman's comp, and, you know, um, I had to go through eye, physical therapy for my eyes, and so that was kind of weird, and, um, you know, just trying to get through all of that <laughs> with everything else going on, you know, just, I mean, it's just been kind of a crazy year so far, um, <clears throat> but it's just, it's like something is always 
going on and I'm like is this like this for everyone else because I'm like I feel like there's just always something happening to me <laughs> so one good thing did happen and then it's just like my kids the one good thing that happened and it has to have three bad things happen to make up for the one good thing that was happening I'm like and this is some messed up kind of karma. I don't remember karma working like this, but whatever. Okay, we'll just go with it. I got supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Yeah, I was in Chicago for like one weekend, and I didn't know like what part you were in. I was gonna tell you, and but I was in a hotel room. I was at the mall. You know, I didn't know. If you guys would even be in the area, I was going to tell you and then, you know, if you wanted to come and visit me or see how you could have, but honestly, I just didn't have much time to do anything. Hi, Hellraiser. Welcome. Hi, Mr. Bay. Welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, at least that truck was it still made of like metal. It's still not made of this fiberglass like this stuff is now. And she just barely had a little dent, dented scratch on the front. I was very, very extremely, extremely lucky. And had I just kept going 40, and because I was in the far right-hand lane, that way all the crazy people could pass me going 90 in an ice storm with a sheet of ice, right? You know, the one person that's being careful and cautious is the one that somehow spins out and has the wreck. Don't, you know, again, make it make sense. I don't know why. The people going 90 didn't, like, die. <laughs> Not wishing death on anyone, but just, like, you know, it just don't make no sense. So, anyways, I was going 40, which is the minimum you could go on the highway. And this guy, of course, pulls up and wants to get on. He's foaming at the mouth. Don't worry about it's me. a nice storm. And, you know, 6 o'clock at night or whatever, 6 or 7 o'clock at night, it's starting to get dark. And he just has to get on, has to get on. Well, I slowly was going into that next lane to let him on. And then that's when I hit the bad spot and that wheel just started turning. And I couldn't get a hold of it. And I thought, well, when it's turning in one direction, I thought you're supposed to turn it in that same direction. So you will just spin and you won't like go the opposite way because it's supposed to make it worse. I don't know if I did the right thing. But yeah, it was three full spins across that highway and with everyone else going 90 i want to know how no one hit me i mean i must have had a guardian angel or someone looking out for me because that was just that was so freaking bizarre and when that wheel started going i just said fuck it dude i'm dead you know i was just like i'm gonna die and so and i was fine with it i was just like i seriously didn't think i was gonna live but it was pretty traumatic you know they were they kept asking me if i you know, was okay and everything, and you know, I was ready to go to work the next day. They're like, "You ain't coming back to work, girl. What is wrong with you? Are you like crazy?" <laughs> so I looked like, you know, I took a couple of days off work or whatever, and um, you know, to get my concussion, I guess, kind of healed. Like the first day after it happened, it was fine, but it was that second day that it just started to kind of hit me. Then after that, I was like, glad they made me, um, you know, take the days because I don't, I don't know that I could have. Um, you know, made it, you know, it seems like they, they knew better than I did. You know, I'm always trying to do too much. They get on me quite a bit for, for doing that. But no one can say I'm not a loyal employee. <laughs> Welcome back, Noble. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, the Lego statues. I think they do. They have so much stuff there. They have like roller coasters in there and all kinds of stuff. Um, basically where I park the Mall of America, I park in the little underground thing. Um, I go through one door, past the candy shop, um, past the Crayola, Forever 21, and then my shop is right there. So I really don't have to go far. 
I don't really get to explore or anything, but I've been in there walking around a little bit and the place is so big. If you spend eight hours out there and I still wouldn't be able to see the whole thing. And the place is huge. But yeah, when I was in the, um, when I was on that trip there to Chicago, um, my boarding pass wouldn't scan at security checkpoint. So it's 6 a.m. at Chicago O'Hare, and that, that airport is huge, too. That place, like, it's like a friggin' island. That, that place is just humongous. I couldn't find the gate number because the gate number wasn't on the boarding pass. But even before that, I couldn't get through security because this the pass wouldn't scan. So I'm literally holding up about two, no less than 200 people giving me the evil eye because she stopped every single line to scan that boarding pass. Like, stop. So I was literally holding up everyone going through security checkpoint. I was so embarrassed. I've never been so embarrassed in my whole damn life. And so I finally got through there and I was so mad. And then to find out that the gate number wasn't on there. And I was just like, who is this? Who is this airline? Sun Country Airlines. I don't know. It's some cheap airline. And I'm just like, okay. I had to call the company to get the gate number. It's like, oh, it's um, gate M32. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm at M12. So I should be close to it, right? Oh, no. No, no, I wasn't close to it. I had to walk like literally a mile to get to the gate. And then when I got to the gate, it was like another two hour wait. And then they were like, oh, we're going to postpone the flight for 30 minutes because it needs, the engine needs repairs. And I'm like, oh, that's comforting. And then when we finally got to board the plane, the boarding pass wouldn't scan again. Their own boarding pass for that airline wouldn't scan in their own system. I'm like, dude, I already went through this. And I'm like... I've got everything else. I got my ID, everything else. He's like, no, I'm just going to let you let you on through. It's fine. And I'm like, the other people had to at security checkpoint too. I'm like, everything is legit. Just something is wrong with y'all's computer systems. So I get in there on this airplane and it was the roughest takeoff and landing I've ever had. And the, the airplane, like as it was, it, uh, first of all, we went, like we were driving like in a car. Like on the air, like on the, um, the grounds of the airport. We were just driving, like, are we ever going to take off, guys? Are we ever going to take off? You know, we were just driving around. I turned to the black dude sitting next to me. I was like, dude, we're still going. Like, we haven't even went in the air. And he's like, what? Because he was, like, reading a book. And he looked up and looked out the window. I was like, dude, we're still going around. It's been, like, 15 minutes. We haven't had a ticket that off yet. That last one died too fast. <laughs> and he looked at me like, are you freaking kidding me? So we finally get up in the air and as the as we're going up in the air in this airplane and I don't fly a lot, you know, so this kind of stuff freaks me out. For people that travel a lot, this is probably normal for them. But it was going I've never heard an airplane do this before. It was just like I was just like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> And then when we landed, like, like I had my seatbelt on and it was like getting in the car wreck all over again. I my, hit my head on the front of the seat in front of me when we landed. And it was just like bouncing up and down in the seat, like a little bouncy chair, like a baby would be in. And then hitting your head at the front of the seat at the same time. I'm just like, dude, like, what is this? I, I, it was so, it was such a strange experience, but, um. I tried to Packing keep disciples. as much positivity as I could out of it, but man, that just, it just seemed, it seemed like a very, it was a rough trip. Um, and like I said, for people that travel a lot and fly a lot, it's probably standard for if them to go through that kind of stuff, but I, I mean, it was a new, a new experience for me, and I was just like, Another dude, what is going on? <laughs> So, yeah, that was uh, a fun experience, I guess. And then, of course, my boss, he's just like, Denise, you just have some really bad luck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that Purge movie. I, I finally watched that. I had to buy it. It went on sale on the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the Xbox marketplace or whatever for $5 and I bought it. It wasn't too bad. Ooh, Signs. I love that movie too. Oh, I haven't watched Cocaine Bear yet. Was that, um, a good movie? I thought it was based on a true story. I don't know if it has a mystery mind right. It probably does. Flying cars. Yeah, really. Just give me my flying car and I'll be just fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like, how did it sound again? Oh my god. Oh, welcome back, invaders. Oh, you went, you had to go take a bath? Well, I hope that was enjoyable. I love taking a hot bath. It really does help these old bones. Yeah, Marky, uh, you're probably exactly right. Um, but yeah, that was, that was kind of scary, you know, because I'm not, welcome back, Furious. That was just weird to me. You know, like I said, people that fly a lot, maybe that's normal to them, but yeah <laughs> it was really weird <clears throat> and then when I tried to go to the hotel room you know because everything was paid for by the company so I went to the hotel and I got this little smart ass young kid up there and I'm like hi I'm here to check into the hotel well I need your company's credit card I need the physical credit card and I'm like what yeah, you're not going to be able to get into your hotel room without that credit card. I'm like, I don't have the company corporate credit card with me. I'm just an assistant manager. There's no reason why I would carry the corporate credit card with me. That like, that's something the district manager's manager, even the district manager wouldn't have that on them. That would be like for the regional manager would have that. I don't even think she has it physically on her. Probably the president of the company does, but I'm just like, come on now. She's like, well, you'll have to pay for it out of pocket. And in addition to that, you'll have to provide a $200 deposit. And I'm like, I have the paperwork all here. This is supposed to already be set up. It's supposed to be, you know, I'm supposed to be able to just come up here, check in, get my card key and go to my job. No, that's not how it works. And I'm like, well, why don't you just run it through? And, um, you know, we'll try it. How about we just try it? Yeah, I'll run the card and just see, you know, what happens. And then she runs it and she's like, well, here's your card key. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, why did you give me such a hard time? I'm like, you didn't even know what you were talking about. But I didn't argue with her or anything. I was just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a bit frustrating, but... I did have a good time working and, you know, we had a, um, positive experience. I was able to help out the store and that was my goal. And so, you know, I felt like I was, um, you know, helpful to the guy there. Poor guy, you know, he was only running the store there with two other people. And that Chicago store is like a million dollar store. So it does saw quite a bit of shoes you know so whoopsie someone's shooting at me who's shooting oh, there you are whoa Nelly two of you over here Yeah, I can go up to up to the psycho and hit him, and it kills him instantly. But I shot him six times with a gun, and it did nothing. Make it make sense. Okay, there's nothing on him. Anymore. 
Oh no, the video froze again. Right, yeah, no, I know you, you fly a lot, Mark, so you probably know what all that is. Did we freeze up again, guys? I still have full bars on the internet. Yeah, I'm blaming this one on YouTube. Yeah, because I'm all the way over here in um, Sunshine Tidings. And this the video shows me still at Nuka World. Oh, well, maybe that's a sign that I need to just try back later or something. <laughs> we'll try to maybe stream some more tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we'll have more luck. I don't know what's wrong, honestly. But I hate to keep restarting it. That seems kind of counterproductive. All right, guys. So I think I'll just say good night and wish you guys well. It was good to talk to everyone. Good to see you guys. I'll try to stream again tomorrow and see what other little designer beds we can make. <laughs> Farewell, guys. Sorry it froze up. I'll see you later. Take care. Good night.